Denisha, and today I'll be making pesto pasta thanks to Veggie RX. You'll need your Veggie RX pasta. I'm using the penne noodles. Parmesan cheese. This is Target brand, but any brand will do as long as it's shredded. And pesto sauce. You can make this or you can buy it from Target. I bought this from Target. They also have a classical brand. I like that brand as well, but they were out today. You'll need a pot with some water. Just fill it all the way up. Leave a little room at the top. You don't want it to boil over. So I'm just going to fill this up, and then I'll get back with you guys when the water is boiling. So this is as much water as I have. It's a very funny view, but I just wanted to show you guys how much water's in there before it starts boiling. This is what water looks like when it's boiling, if you're a beginner. I know everyone watching this may not be, but just in case. Now, you're going to put it in the pasta. Do not put it in the whole box unless you have a whole family to feed. It's just me and my mom, so I'm using half of the box. See, half of the box is gone. It's in the water now. We're going to set the timer for 10 minutes on the box. It says cooks for 8 to 10 minutes. I like cooking my pasta for the longer amount of time. So I'm going to come to you. The fire is on about a 7. I'm going to come to you when the pasta is fluffed up, fluffed up and ready to drain. One way to make sure the water doesn't boil over is to put a wooden spoon over the pot. Yes, it really works. Just try it if you don't believe me. But put a wooden spoon over it, it will not boil over. The timer's going off, so I'm going to turn the timer off. And as you see, the water did not boil over. The noodles are nice and big. So you're going to taste the noodle. Just pick one up. I should have got a fork for this, Should've but I did it. And just taste it. Make sure it's done all the way. They're done all the way. So you're gonna turn your fire off and get a strainer and take it over. To the so I'm straining the pasta. You can also do this without a strainer, but just be careful. Lots of steam. So once it's strained all the way, you're going to shake it, make sure all the water is out, and you're going to put it back in the pot because it's just easier to do that way. Or if you have another dish, um, um, if you have another thing you want to put the dish in to serve it, you can do that too. Okay, so now you're going to add the pesto. Shake it up really good so you don't dump just oil on there. And you can use the spoon if you have a small spoon to mix it up. I don't have a small enough spoon, but I shook it up really good. I'm just going to mix it a little more. And then make sure you get it all out for the whole. If, you, if you're feeding a lot of people, you're going to need just one. Still just get one. It says it right on the box. You just need one. This is six ounces. It's a lot in here, trust me. See, I cleaned it out, most of it. Okay, now you're just going to mix this all around. Mix it, mix it. Make sure you get it all the way to the bottom. Mix, mix. Make sure you twist and turn. Get all the way to the bottom on the sides. Mix, you want to get the pesto off the well. We don't want any naked noodles. Okay, so once you think you've got it, we're going to add cheese. I did half a box, so you should do half a bag. But if you want to put the whole bag, that's your business. I'm not going to judge it. I'm a cheese person, too. Okay, add your cheese. Same technique, fold it in. Make sure we have no 
snakey pasta. Fold it all the way to the bottom. And you can put half a bag, and if you don't have enough, add more. It's totally up to you. This is however you want to do it. But I love cheese, so I put lots and lots in mine. Getting the extra cheese off the spoon. And there you have it, pesto 